This is kind of one of those weather marathons. It rains and rains and rains, mm -hmm. just keeps going. That's yeah. right. That's right. But we sure needed it. Yeah. Well, here's a sign it's ending. Our exclusive 3D Doppler radar imagery shows you where the showers are now and what they're doing right now. And notice how it's all elevated. Mm -hmm. Notice how there's not a lot of moisture down at the surface. That's Savannah right in the middle of the picture. Let me turn the picture just a bit, and you can see some of those 3D imageries, the top of these rain showers coming right to you. But notice it's elevated. A lot of this rain is not making it to the surface. That's the end of the rain event starting to push its way through. Though so there's still a lot of rain falling. My goodness, we just had a real shower come through here over 1.56 inches officially at the airport, almost two inches here at WTOC. Reedsville's got some showers just to the southeast. Glenville had a shower earlier. This one little cluster is working its way toward Effingham County, western Chatham County, portions of Jasper and Buford County. I think it's going to hold together. Look at approaching Montgomery on the south side in Coffee Bluff. That'll be a pretty heavy shower. And all of these showers are starting to lose their intensity. That's the 3D picture I showed you. But they're also continuing to work their way through. So as they collapse, as they rain themselves out, we get some pretty significant rains. The darker greens up to close to two inches and many areas, especially some of our western counties, did see in excess of that. So having said all that right now, showers continuing 57 degrees, 95 percent are relative humidity, winds are light, 1.88 inches of rain here at WTOC that just went up another two hundreds, uh, 57 degrees with today's high at 60 thanks to the cloud cover. The other part of that is with the rain falling that puts a lot of moisture in the air. There's not a lot of wind to remove that moisture so we're getting decreased visibilities. We saw that in our shot from downtown Savannah with a five mile visibility. Hilton Head at three expects some patchy fog to form before the wind really got st gets a chance to get started. And then here's your planner for first thing in the morning. Thunderstorms till about nine or ten o'clock then it should be just showers after that and temperatures trying to warm up to the mid 60s. Temperatures Temperatures will cool after that as we go later in the forecast. There's our area of low pressure. It's tracking across South Carolina. By 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, showers are now ending right in coastal areas, and even skies start to clear uh, by 11 o'clock Thursday night. It's cooler temperatures behind that. The real cold is behind this next front. That's going to stay far to the north across the Great Lakes. That's not headed our way at all. And a storm, a storm threat for tomorrow? There's a slight threat early in the day, especially right along the I-16 quarter that will continue and diminish as we go through the day. Next tide 409, high tide at 1013 in the morning. You won't see the sunrise at 709, I'm afraid. Here's your first alert forecast then for tonight. 62, 73 for tomorrow, 90% chance of showers mainly early in the day. Then it gets cooler, 43, 65 on Thursday, dry Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Next rain chance, not till the end of the forecast period, but a couple of really chilly starts there, both Sunday and Monday morning. Again, the heaviest rain moving through and will be done by midday tomorrow. Then it gets cooler. Thanks, John. Well, so much for 